In this episode of Other People's Airplanes, we bring you chameleons. Welcome to Other People's Airplanes, the show where we bring you into the cockpit and along for the ride whenever we do awesome aviation-related stuff. I'm your host, David Allen, and today we are joined by Tyler Speed of Electronics International. And you guys know how much of a gadget geek I am, and this thing really did catch my eye. Um, Tyler, thanks for joining us here on the show. Of course, thank you. Uh, you've got this um, uh, 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 one instrument that replaces one instrument, but it's actually like six plus instruments in one. That's right. Actually, we designed it to fit in a standard tachometer uh, hole, a three and an eighth inch hole, but it actually replaces six primary instruments, and you get to choose which six uh, primary instruments that is. Uh, and it also uh, replaces uh, EGT and CHT. So you can see that it has a standard bar graph right here for the EGT CHT, and then you get to choose your flavors. Uh, standard is going to be RPM plus five more. Uh, you've got one two, three, four, five here, and then on this second screen, you've got an additional, that's make six. It also will do one, two, three, four, five non-primary instruments as well. So you could have outside air temperature, you could have uh, vacuum. Uh, you, you, again, you get to pick your flavors for those five. And so that's customizable ba based on what my particular needs are? That's exactly right, because some people with like a fixed pitch, they don't need the manifold. So they can put fuel flow or they can put oil pressure. They can choose what that second arc on the top is. So no, no space goes to waste on it. And what all can it, what all can it do? Uh, I mean, it, there's so much information packed into that little spot. Well, so, so again, like, like I was saying on the uh, first page, you've got all your primaries and you've got tapes. So, so you've got your red lines and yellows. Uh, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to alert you if you go into to yellow on any of those uh, uh, six primary. And it, and it does have the full, full bar graph. So on the bar graph, what we have is you have EGT and CHT. It will also do a normalized mode for EGT CHT, and that's where the bars should always be flat when you're looking at the normalized mode. And so if something comes out of whack, then if it, yeah, if, if there's like one rogue bar that's taller than the rest, then you know something has changed in your engine from the last time that you normalized it. You know something's up, uh, in, and that's in the normalized mode. We also have a lean mode for rich of peak. That's going to tell you when your first cylinder peaks, what temperature it peaks at, uh, and then also in the lean of uh, lean of peak mode, and that one uh, is for operating on the lean side of peak. And that will tell you as each cylinder peaks, what temperature it peaks on at, and so forth. Uh, and then we also have an EGT and CHT uh, graphical depiction of your engine. Uh, what, what, uh, you also mentioned when we were talking beforehand that this had uh, a few, let, let you know how far you could go with your fuel? Absolutely, because not only is it an EGT CHT bar graph, but it has a complete uh, fuel totalizer on board. So the totalizer is actually uh, back here, and it will differentiate up to four different tanks. So, so it's not just a single fuel flow, single remaining, but it will actually tell you exactly what you have in each tank. Um, and the totalizer, it start, let's start with the uh, fuel flow. It'll tell you your fuel flow. It'll tell you your range, so how far you can fly. From how does it, how does, I was going to say, how does it know how far you can go? So, so it picks up from your GPS, your current speed, and then it calculates based on your current speed and your uh, fuel flow at how far you can go. It, it sees your destination again from the GPS and it determines how far that destination is and then it gives you a reserve so you actually have your, your fuel left over at your reserve that you can see and it'll alert you if you don't have enough. Uh, we have estimated uh, quantities on board. We have the quantities remaining, quantities to get to your destination and reserve, at times uh, uh, on board to your destination and in reserve and then uh, estimated reserves, uh, and we've, you've got your distant time and quantity as well, and then all so, your fuel used. So much great information in this one spot. I mean, I, the only danger I would see with this is I'd get fixed on it, you know, be like, you know, fly the airplane into the ground because there's just so much great information there. It's awesome. Well, and, and actually to speak to that point, um, yes, it, 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 is, it is quite a bit of information, but actually what comes with this is uh, two uh, uh, alarms. You've got the uh, red and yellow alarm, so you can be doing your normal scan, and if something goes wrong with any of your engine or something you need to be alerted to this instrument, if you put these in your scan, just the two lights, you've got the master caution that'll then bring your attention to the instrument when you need to look at it, not just because it's eye candy. I love it. That's fantastic. You guys have really thought thought to put a lot of information in a small device and still keep it safe. Fantastic work. Thanks so much for joining us on Other People's Airplanes. Thank you, David. W one more thing. Where can people find more information about this? Uh, you can find it on our uh, website. or We're here all, the, all week at this show. Or you can find it on our website, www.buy-ei.com. Excellent. Thanks so much. Thank you. 
So that's it for this episode of Other People's Airplanes. We hope you are enjoying all of the content that we're producing here from EAA's AirVenture 2013. Make sure you're liking our Facebook page so to keep up with the, the latest information and updates. And also, please subscribe to us on YouTube or iTunes or both. Sounds good to me. We'll catch you next time with more yummy aviation goodness.